What's up everybody? Today we're asking the question, should a designer be using a desktop or a laptop to do their design work? So should you get a desktop or a laptop? Well, I will say this caveat, T-O, T-O from the outset of this video, I am an Apple user. That doesn't mean if you are a PC user, you should leave because a lot of the same principles will still apply in this video. All right, so some things you want to consider when you are thinking about buying either a desktop or a laptop, uh, there are a few considerations to kind of like mull over and kind of understand before you make that purchase. And so I would say uh, the first one is size. What do you kind of need? What are your specific like situations for size? Are you moving around a lot? Are you traveling? Are you having client meetings? Um, are you working at a startup? Are you kind of on planes and on the go? Then a laptop might be for you. Now when it comes to size, you also have to consider the screen size though that you're kind of sacrificing for the mobile kind of nature of a laptop. Uh, on something like a desktop over here, you get so much more screen real estate to work on and that's really, really nice when you want to spread out and kind of have room to breathe. Side note, tip perfect situation in my opinion is to have a laptop with an extra monitor. How do we? We go like this? Do we see this? Next we're going to talk about power. Obviously one of the things that you give up with this smaller package is possibly some of the power depending on the type of machine that you're running. And so a desktop might give you that little bit of extra oomph to do some of those bigger projects that you like to do. So maybe if you like doing long format like documents or you like to do big print projects or you like to do really heavy video editing and After Effects and Premiere, maybe that would be okay for you. Maybe that'd be a better choice for you. I will say if you're on the lower scale of that, I do video editing and some uh, After Effects stuff on my MacBook Pro and it's okay. It's fans spin a lot, it sounds like a jet engine, but it can do the job if you really need it to. I would advise not to drop down to something like a MacBook or a MacBook Air. I just don't think it has the guts that you need if that's the kind of stuff that you do. On the other hand, if you're more like a content developer or a web developer, a MacBook Air might be okay for you, but I would say I still wouldn't go any further down than a standard MacBook. And the last thing to consider is your situation. Where do you work? What do you do? And, and what's expected of you? So for instance, kind of to pull everything back through, pull that thread all the way to what we're talking about right now. Is it required of you as you work at your startup to do video and product design? Then maybe a laptop would be better for you. Um, because it can handle your needs, but it's also very versatile and mobile and you can take it everywhere you go. Are you working like at an in-house graphics department or something like that where, where you kind of leave your work at work when you go home? Side note, lifestyle choice, you should always leave your work at work. But are you, are you leaving your work there and going home and coming back to it every day? Then maybe something like this would be better because it gives you that screen real estate to kind of stretch out on. So those are the things to consider when you are possibly planning on buying a new computer. It, what, what kind of power do you need? What kind of size do you need? What's your situation? And what type of design work do you do? I hope this helps and I hope you guys uh, love the computer that you're working on. I hope that it's a joy to fire up every single day um, because tools don't make the maker, but they help the maker. And so make sure you have something that really suits your needs and gets the job done for you. Talk to you guys soon. Aloha.